Hi, this is Erling. Hi, this is Judy. Welcome to Travel Trail Sale. Today we're checking out the Mid-Atlantic RV Show, just north of Richmond, Virginia. There were several dealers participating in the Mid-Atlantic RV Show, including Pete's, General, and Campers Inn. Let's head into the Campers Inn section first. We've been focusing lately on small campers and really wanted to see a Winnebago hike. This hike 1316 FB has a queen bed, a bunk, and many of the same features as a much larger camper. Yet it's less than 16 feet long and weighs in at just under 3,200 pounds. It's got a nice little kitchen and a bathroom that you can actually stand up in. On the exterior, there are bars to protect the camper in case you go off the main road. And the axles were really interesting. Looked pretty rugged. There's a huge outside kitchen on the back. I need a step stool. <laughs> Lots of storage and outlets and things though. On the back, there's even a hitch built in in case you want to bring a bike rack. And then there's a nice uh, ladder on the side. It looks like it actually folds out to be at an angle for easier climbing. And there are storage boxes built in on each side. More storage outside, that's cool. Storage on each side like that. Wait for it, you ready? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> We're starting to see a lot of Murphy bed campers. This Winnebago 2108 DS is a great example. We'll just take a quick peek inside. Now this one is 22 and a half feet long and just under 4,300 pounds. We'll head into the general RV section next. And first up is a Forest River Ibex camper. Hadn't seen one of these before, so we thought we'd take a look. This is a 23RLDS, and it has a rear sofa and a dinette, a nice kitchen area, the bathroom is in the middle of the camper, and then there's a queen bed up front. Overall, this looks like a nice camper. It's 27 and a half feet long and weighs in at just over 5,000 pounds. Hey Judy, what do you think? Is this one big enough? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Where's my kitchen? Where's my bathroom? As a nice upgrade from a tent though, this clipper is pretty interesting. We like Grand Design campers, and the smaller aim line are interesting. This is a 15BH, and what makes it really interesting is a tabletop in place of a dinette. It might be the perfect place if you need to do some work on the road. Additionally, it does have a Murphy bed and two single bunks. Pretty good storage for a small camper. and a decent sized shower in the rear. And in the bathroom you'll find something pretty interesting. It's a flip up sink to save some space. We weren't sure how the Murphy bed would work and so we got a quick demo. Okay, okay keep going. So that goes down and then you just pick up this part here. And that's how quick it comes down. And this is a full size queen. This isn't a camper queen, it's not a short queen. This is a full queen. Okay. Could we have a different mattress? They'll fold up and roll oh, up. Okay. But if you did put a different mattress, you should have enough room to be able to, yeah, because this is how tall the ceiling is. You should still be able to stick another mattress up there. Okay. And then you just put it up like that and you know, stick that in there. I like this side. And then, super secure. Mm -hmm. And then you just roll that on back and then 
get what it is, you gain a seating area as well. And it right. does have the uh, cup holders and everything, but that's the great thing about a Murphy bed is you gain your force plates. The outside kitchen on the AIM is just a griddle, but there's good storage outside. And for your dump, there's a place to store your hose and a light on the actual dump connection. The water hookup area is inside the storage compartment and is nicely organized. We have a grand design Transcend and really like it. So it's always fun to see what's new from the Transcend line. We're checking out a Transcend 221 RB. The RB is for rear bath. And we actually really like these rear bath campers. They often have a great floor plan. And check out how large the bathroom is in this one. It's an interesting approach too, to use two recliners and a table rather than a dinette. The kitchen area is nicely sized and has a great countertop, plenty of room for food prep. And as you walk forward, there's a full-size queen bed up front. Of course, plenty of storage. Weight on this camper is about 5,400 pounds, and it's just under 27 feet long. Outside the camper, you'll find a nice water connection area inside storage, and then notice that there's actually two dump connections. That's because you'll have one for the bathroom in the back, and then as you move forward, there's another one for the kitchen. And having two gray tanks means you can stay on your campsite a lot longer between having to dump. Another dealer at the Mid-Atlantic RV show was Scenic View RV. They had a KZ Escape E18 hatch. It's 22 feet long and just under 3,500 pounds. Inside, you'll find a nice couch up front with plenty of windows. There's a decent kitchen area. But the interesting thing is the back. There's a bed that lifts up above an area and then a huge door that opens up in the back. It's not quite a toy hauler, but it does give you the ability to bring some of your toys. Inside the bathroom, there's a shower with a toilet, but no sink in the bathroom. Overall, pretty nice camper. We recently did a video where we toured a number of teardrop campers, including a few from New Camp, but that day we didn't get to see the Tag 400. So when we came across it at the Mid-Atlantic RV show, we wanted to take a look. It's actually pretty spacious inside. It has a decent little kitchen area and a bed in back with a TV. Nice big window that opens up over the bed. And it has these interesting latches on the drawers and some nice features like a built-in silverware drawer. For a small camper, it has a decent amount of storage. It has a smaller fridge, but it's workable. And I think one of the things we really did like was the light woodwork. It just made it feel so much more open and airy inside. It has a wet bath. It's pretty nicely done. Not huge, but it would probably work. In fact, I even had standing headroom. Outside, the water hookups are nice. A new camper we were pretty excited to see was the Cortez. They had three models on display. These all fiberglass campers are pretty neat. They're only 18 feet long and 2,680 pounds, so they should be pretty easy to tow. And with their fiberglass construction, 
They seemed really well built. A lot of nice features inside. Everything was very light and airy. Nice windows that open up. A sturdy table stand. A dinette with unfortunately only one seat. And these nice locking storage compartments. It really reminded me of being on a boat. I could stand up inside, standing headroom, and it did have a bathroom, although it was a little tight for me. All right, standing up in the shower. I wish I had one more inch. It'd probably be pretty easy to set up camp with a Cortez. Very easy hookups. The only thing we noticed was that the dump valve was a little exposed. The camper everyone said we had to see was the all new Brinkley Z3100. This fifth wheel is over 34 feet long and weighs in at almost 12,000 pounds. So very different than the Cortez we just looked at. But it was really nicely built. Up front, you have a large bedroom suite, tons of storage. Really thought this was interesting, kind of a hidden sliding top to the cabinets and looked like it was ready for a washer and dryer. Nice features like lights that turn on automatically. Huge, beautiful bathroom. And then a massive kitchen with an island, a fireplace, a pantry, really oversized recliner chairs and a dinette. There are nice features outside too, like the water connections. They even include the elbow that you need so your hoses hook up nice. And when you look under the camper, that's the true test. Everything is nicely sealed and clean, very well built. Most RV shows have pretty much the same exhibitors. But at the Mid-Atlantic show, there were a couple of unique ones, including Great Harvest Bread Company. Fabulous, tasty bread and cinnamon rolls and cookies. They were giving out oh, samples. Uh, that one is their cinnamon roll. Great for making French toast. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Six sourdough, cinnamon swirl, booted stout, cheddar jalapeno. Irish whiskey bread. It's very popular bread. And the bread was just so tasty that, yes, we ended up with a few loaves to take home. Another interesting idea, and made in Richmond, Virginia, is a bourbon smoker. You can burn some small wood chips and add smoke to a beverage. It looks interesting, but we didn't get a chance to try it. Well, we sure had fun at the Mid-Atlantic RV show. Got to see a lot of neat campers. Judy, what'd you think? Yeah, so many campers to check out. It's been a lot of fun and we've talked to a lot of really nice people. Absolutely. Always fun going to an RV show. Uh, thanks for joining us and we can't wait to see you again next time.